Now this is a picture I did of uh, Broughton Burroughs down in Devon. It's an old wreck that got washed up on the beach. Um, and I really almost finished working with it. But there's a few little areas I could do with tweaking up. The blues, the reds, and maybe the grass there. Uh, I'm going to call up a hue saturation adjustment uh, panel. And you can see here that it comes up there in our properties box in CS6. And we've got the sliders, I'm going to mess around, and you can change the hue of everything by pulling things across, uh, change the colors. Let's just rewind that in the reset button there. Everything back in place. I'm going to change the blend mode to luminosity. So that's right. In the drop down menu, just go down to luminosity at the bottom there. Let's just reduce the size of that so we've got more on the screen. And we're going to look in uh, here. There are some uh, presets, some of my presets, some already preloaded in. Uh, Adobe Photoshop and you can learn the shortcuts if you really want to we're gonna let the hand tool itself uh, choose things uh, try colorize uh, or not that does change things uh, give it a click just see what happens I'm going to choose the hand tool and I'm just gonna move around in here and you can see there it immediately affects the saturation it decides what the color so it's just telling me that cyan is the color that it's going to be working on there uh, if I hold down the uh, command or control key though, that will give me the hue option. So hold the, down the c control or command uh, with the mouse down. And if you pull and select an area, such so as mouse down in the red there, and if we hold down the control or command key at the same time, that's going to affect our hue. If we just mouse down on it and drag about, that's going to affect the saturation. And uh, you can fine tune your image, just dragging backwards and forwards, left to right. Uh, just go and sample, just put that, that, that uh, Photoshop sort out what color it's sampling. So if you see a color on your screen, uh, just go in with a hand tool, click on it, and uh, if you hold down the command key, of course, you'll do the hue. If you just let the uh, hold the mouse down and drag in it, you're going to affect the saturation. So you can get into your image and uh, drag around, fine tune things, play about, of course. Slide the slides around. You can go into um, the hue saturation box itself and play with the slides and the drop down menus itself. Uh, I don't tend to use the lightness, but you can actually use it for fine tuning if you've got a single color uh, like cyan's uh, called up. That's before and after. So we've done some fine tuning on the image. So this is a, a decent way of just adding that little bit extra to your image uh, once you've gone through all your processing. And uh, don't forget that thing about the holding down the control key or the command key. You can go to the drop-down menu and use the sliders, like I said before, and just slide around in your sliders, okay? And just look on screen. Okay, that went too far then, but you can actually gauge how much you're doing things by just sliding your sliders. So mouse down the sliders, uh, we've got the box at the bottom here. Try that mouse down on that and just pull that across. This is the area which is defined by your choice. So in blues there, we can actually extend that by pulling out, mousing down on the gradation slides at the side, or increasing the area which the uh, the hue saturation effect is going to take into with the big one. So we change the blend mode to luminosity. That's before and that's after. So it's really for fine tuning this, and it's really the blend mode and the hue saturation working together. You've got your opacity, of course, to go into, so you can go backwards and forwards with the opacity, uh, fine tune it even more. And of course, we have a mask in here, and uh, you can always work with your mask as well. Uh, so if we just clicked on that's the white bounding box around the outside, choose a brush, um, black is my foreground color. I'm going to have this at 30%, so hitting 3 on the keyboard will give me 30% opacity in there. And if there's areas I'll just want to hold back and just paint on, and I'll paint on the mask, the mask is activated, and that'll just hold that back. If I Alt-click on the mask, that's going to show me what I've done. So I've just uh, suppressed that hue saturation effect by painting black onto the mask and holding it back. Okay, that's been another quick one from me. Uh, until the next time, of course, that's uh, bye for now.